Hi fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you uh, for the upcoming week. So we'll see what it is that you might have to look forward to. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's begin. Okay, interesting. So you do have the Three of Swords. So some of you might be going through something emotionally painful, something quite challenging. You could be trying to, you know, nurse a broken heart. Uh, you might be going through a heartbreak, heal some wounds here. It might be, um, you might have had recently your heart uh, heartbroken. Could have been, could have had something to do with the, uh, the breakdown of a romantic connection or a relationship. You might be going through a separation or a divorce. This may have been this may have been very recent. It it may still be yet to happen, or it could have something to do with the past. Okay, so maybe there are past emotional wounds that still fester. Okay, um, and this week I see there being some emotional triggers or emotional traumas around this. So something someone might say might trigger some painful memories for, from for you. And it might bring back, like flood back all these memories here. Could have something to do with your childhood upbringing as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. Um, it can, or it might have to do something with the emotional environment, the the childhood that you had, you know, your, um, your guardians at the time, just the emotional environment that you were brought up in. Um, it could have something to do with maybe some of you, you know, had... Not a very healthy upbringing or not a very stable upbringing and maybe you're craving stability because you've not had that and you know that you know whatever he has happened in the past has maybe affected your ability to trust people um, or to enter into relationships to open yourself up to someone and be vulnerable so here you are I feel like you're being confronted here to deal with a past pain or a past hurt it's a wound that hasn't healed itself. There may be, look, there may be still scars here and maybe physical scars from this uh, incident, from this uh, experience. It could be emotional scars and maybe these scars, it's like something someone says, it's like rubbing salt in a wound. So it, it, it'll bring back painful memories. Something tells me that you haven't necessarily, maybe you've run away from the pain, maybe you've repressed and suppressed some of your emotions, okay? This is why it's still haunting you. This is why the wounds still hurt as much as they do, why it still feels as raw as it does. And for some of you, it just might be because it's recent, okay? It, it's happened only recently, and that's why it just feels so raw. For others, it's because it, it is something that's happened in the past, but you're still carrying these wounds with you. You're still, you know, you, you still got to nurse and nurture these wounds here. I think you're being asked to, honestly, you're being asked to confront with your pain and sit with your pain here so that you can heal from it, okay? Um, whatever has happened here, I feel like has, it, it's all been... It's all made you the person, you know, it's made you the person that you are today. It's helped you grow. It's helped you evolve into the very individual that you are right now. It was all a part of your growth and your personal development. Look, and speaking about growth, for some of you, like, you have to realize that whatever he that has ended for you, it's because you kind of outgrew, okay? You outgrew this person, you outgrew their love, you outgrew the situation here. 
staying in this relationship, staying in that situation would mean that you have to shrink yourself in order to fit in what you simply outgrew. And that doesn't feel very comfortable to me. I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound very comfortable. So there's a need for you to let go of something here. Let go of a relationship. Let go of past hurt, past wounds, past attachments. How do you let go? Well, you know, letting go and healing is a very unique and individual journey for everyone. You're going to find out, you're going to have to find what fits you. Okay, what will work for you, what's best for you. Running away from the pain is not healing the pain. You'll have to confront it head on. There's so much, I feel like there's so much better days ahead for you. There's so much happiness here that's coming for you. Um, you know, you've been through some sort of emotional storm or emotional turmoil. You've had your fair share of heartbreaks and, um, you know, breakdown of relationships. Things are getting better for you, especially with the energy of the sun card. Things are looking up for you. After every dark night, there is a brighter day. Things are... There's a turning point, there's a transformation, there's a transition taking place, there's a growth taking place in your energy here. I'm also seeing that this week, potentially there is contact or communication with someone from the past. You could be the one reaching out and connecting with this person. This person could be reaching out and connecting with you. It feels like it's reciprocated, so it feels like you're responding or they're responding. It also feels like something here that didn't work out, okay, something here that failed in the past so a failed relationship a failed romantic connection of some sort maybe this person ghosted you it didn't work out in the past but I feel like it didn't work out for a reason because since the time the two of you have been apart there's been a lot of growth and somehow this individual that you're connecting with or this very thing that you're going back to so for some of you it is going to be an individual an ex a person that you are romantically maybe even just loosely involved with uh, for some of you, it's you're going back to something. You could be going back to a job. You could be going back to a, a, some sort of situation of some sort. I don't know. It, it could be a, a home, a residence. It's something that I feel like it has to do with your destiny. Okay, It's something that's uh, a big part of your destiny. It was always a part of your uh, destiny here. So you're going back to something that I feel like you've always loved or you it was always a part of you and it's just the sense of you coming back home and if it is a person it feels like the two of you have grew so much in the time that you are apart and it feels like you're more closely aligned and you're more closely connected in a way also I feel like you're really going to see it like it'll be highlighted just how much the two of you have always meant to each other or just how much this thing was always it felt natural for you it didn't feel forced it's just going to highlight how the two of you always were quite compatible and how this is this is someone you've always wanted but I think and look for some of you it, it may not even have been romantic maybe the two of you were just really close friends but this person connects with you out of the blue and suddenly you realize and it's just this light bulb moment it's just this sudden realization this epiphany if you will it's going to make you realize that hey you've always loved this person you've always loved this person and they've always loved you and yeah it's taken you this long to realize but there you have it it's like a light bulb goes off and suddenly everything just it fits it just makes sense Four of Pentacles is asking you to loosen your grip, loosen your fingertips on something, whether it's a certain person, whether it's a possession here, whether it's you're holding on to something too tightly. I know why you're doing it and you know why you're doing it. You don't want to lose it. You don't want to, you feel like if you're going to loosen your grip, it's going to get away from you. It's going to elude your grasp. I get that, but it won't. What is meant for you is meant for you. Who is meant for you is meant for you. No amount of holding on or letting go will let that escape them. Will let that escape or will let them escape you. So you need to, like love isn't, it shouldn't be fee based. Okay, you can't be that you're going to lose someone if you're not going to hold on too tightly. Okay, it's suffocating. Love shouldn't be suffocating. It's, it's not... 
you know love is freedom it's liberty it's not attaching yourself to someone permanently it's let it flow naturally if you you know the fee has to do with you and not with this person be careful that you're not projecting your sense of fear or insecurity onto what otherwise could be a healthy relationship so and whatever you're holding on to here just loosen your grip a little bit because what's meant for you can't run away from you okay it cannot escape you you're making a lot of breakthrough uh, this month this week but also this month i feel like there's a lot of breakthrough here there's you, there's more of an awareness or a mental understanding there's more some of you are spiritually awakening you're a lot more aware of who you are you're also more understanding of yourself i feel like you're going less harder on yourself i feel like you're you could be forgiving yourself okay you could be reconciling um, with the past T, you could be reconciling with the past energy. And look, you could be communicating with someone from the past T. It doesn't necessarily mean that you might be reuniting or reconnecting with them. For some, that is the case. But for others, it's like you just want to reconcile the, the past. You just want to make amends. Okay, and that's that's the part of that healing and, you know, growing and cleansing and purging process. Forgiving. Forgiving is such a big part of it. Forgiving yourself, forgiving the people involved, forgiving, you know, those who didn't know better, who, who didn't do better. It's all a part of the process. But you're making a lot of breakthrough, in, in especially on an emotional and mental level here. You're ascending. Your soul, there's an ascension that's taking place here. It's a, like a cosmic leveling up. It's awakening, it's spiritual enlightenment, and it's you understanding yourself better. It's also you understanding, you know, people around you better. You're on the right path, guys. If, you, if you're doubting yourself, the cards want you to know you're on the right path. So keep going. You can stop and pause to take a break. Sure, why not? But you're on the right path. Keep treading along. Alright, and these are your messages. Thanks so much, guys, for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.